Hello, I'm Don Johnson with Keller Williams in Cary, North Carolina, and it's a pleasure and privilege to be here with you today on Top Triangle Real Estate's video blog. Today I'd like to discuss with you a 1031 exchange. How would you like to avoid paying capital gains taxes on a qualifying property or asset that you plan to sell? What's even better if done correctly, you can use the 1031 exchange process to avoid capital gains taxes altogether. Also known as a Starker exchange or a tax deferred exchange, a 1031 exchange offers valuable tax benefits to a savvy real estate investor. Stay tuned and I'll illustrate the basic mechanics of a 1031 exchange and show you a sample of this awesome wealth building strategy. Please consult your tax advisor and attorney for specific details and qualifications before attempting a 1031 exchange. Let's begin by reviewing the mechanics of a 1031 exchange and how top triangle real estate professionals can help you realize a successful exchange. Let's say for example you have a qualified property and you want to exchange out of that property or asset. A qualified property is defined as a property that is held for productive use in a trade or business or as an investment. For example, an apartment building, duplex, or rental house. A qualified property is not a personal residence. The first part of the exchange will involve a seller or a company, a qualified intermediary or QI, and a buyer. The qualified intermediary must meet certain IRS rules. For example, the QI cannot be a relative. Next, an exchange agreement is drafted by you with the intent to do an exchange and is documented very clearly and sent to the QI. Next, your property that you want to relinquish or exchange out of is marketed by Top Triangle Real Estate and sold to an investor, to another party. Proceeds from the sale of the property or of the relinquished property are sent to the QI who holds those funds until you decide to purchase a replacement property. All of the proceeds must be used to buy the replacement asset, which must be a like-kind property, in this case an investment property. For example, a single investment property can be exchanged for an office building or multiple properties, as in, in this case. And here's the second part of the transaction. At this point, when the property sale closes, the IRS clock begins ticking. You'll have 45 days to identify a replacement property or properties and you have 180 days to purchase those properties. Note it's not 45 days plus the additional 180 days. Both time periods begin on the day you sell the original property. The final step is buying the replacement property with the proceeds from the sale of your original property plus any additional funds if necessary. At this point, your QI will transfer the funds to the seller. You will receive the uh, replacement properties and the taxes on your sale will be deferred. The IRS allows you to continue this process indefinitely or until you die, at which point the assets or investment properties can transfer to your heirs tax-free at a stepped-up basis. In essence, every 1031 exchange, if done properly, can be a tax-free transaction. However, if you elect to cash out along the way, your, tax, your gains will be taxed. We at Top Triangle Real Estate offer two important services that ensure you have a successful transaction. First, we have a large database of buyers and sellers for your current property and replacement properties, respectively. And second, Top Triangle Real Estate can help you identify replacement properties prior to the initiation of the exchange process, ensuring you meet the 180-day time frame required by the IRS. Here's a simple illustration of the potential tax savings in a 1031 exchange scenario. Let's say you have an investment property and you want to sell that property and you're able to sell the property for $500,000. Let's say the basis on the property is $200,000 so your gain once you sell that property would be $300,000. Outside of a 1031 exchange you may realize a tax rate of 20% and of course your tax advisor can give you the specifics on your tax rate but let's assume 20% you would owe the IRS $60,000 on that transaction netting you $240,000 in proceeds. In a 1031 scenario your tax on that gain would be zero 
So your available to reinvest would be $300,000, of course $60,000 more than a non-1031 exchange scenario. I hope you found this information regarding 1031 exchanges very helpful. <clears throat> Please call us at Top Triangle Real Estate if you have any questions about a 1031 exchange or any other real estate needs. Thank you for joining Top Triangle Real Estate on our blog today and thank you for sharing your time with Top Triangle Real Estate where performance, where top performance matters.